We are in downtown Toronto getting set for baseball on MLB Network. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Houston Astros and the Toronto Blue Jays. It's going to be a premier pitching matchup. Two of the league's hardest throwers go head-to-head -head next. Hyunjin Ryu, the Korean lefty, will be the starter in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. First pitch of the night here is taken for ball one as we are underway in Toronto. A ball and a strike to Houston's leadoff batter. The 1-1. One, one. And he fouls this one off. Ryu's ready. Here's the one and two. Oh, and the changeup is taken for a called third strike, and the leadoff man is gone to begin the ball game. Now here's a look at the Astros starting lineup. Danny, any thoughts? Well, you really have to appreciate what Jose Altuve brings to this team. Go look at the numbers. He hit over 310 last year and was consistent most of the year. I'm looking forward to him having another solid campaign. Striding into the box, Jose Altuve, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Well, clearly this guy doesn't need many warm-up pitches because he's 98 miles an hour in the... There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Back goes Pompey. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Batting third, the left fielder, number 23, Michael Brantley. Here's Michael Brantley. His past history with Hunjin Ryu. He's hitless in three at bats. Strike one to start the at bat. Two out, nobody on. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. When you're facing a guy with this many pitches in his repertoire, I say throw everything out 0 2. He's sitting fastball. Fouled away. Another 0 2 home. And it's Nelson, 1 and 2. One and two. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Astros go down one, two, three. Now the Blue Jays will get their chance. No score. So digging in now, Bo Bichette. It lead things off here in the bottom Lead's half up. of the first. Toronto. First Good offering stop. on its way. Number 11. Hit high in the air down the right field line. On the move is Springer. He's there and records the first down. With that, that let's take a look at the Blue Jays the starting baseman. lineup. Mark, what's your take eight. on him against one of the best starters in the game? Matty, these are the lineups you want to be in. Driving to the ballpark, you got a cup of coffee in your hand, you look at the flags and they're blowing straight out. You're running to the manager's office if your name's not in the lineup. It just takes one grain on that bat, and you got a potential three-run bomb. Look out for these guys going deep today. First pitch coming. Here it is. Line to the right side. Springer is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two that gone. Third. The first baseman. And that Travis. brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. Shaw. His career line against Garrett Cole, just three for 14. Two of those hits were for home runs. Marisnik is underneath this one, and that will retire the side. He played an inning. No And that'll bring up the former first-rounder, Alex Bregman. The third baseman, number two, Alex First Bregman. pitch fastball in there for a called strike. Well, fans of good pitching are in for a treat today. What can we expect from today's matchup, guys? I know everyone loves the long ball, Matty, but this is why I pay the price of a ticket right here. Two of the game's best, two of the hardest throwers compete at the top of their game. 
Dan, you have to love this stuff. You know, Dero, we thought coming into this one it was going to be a low scoring affair. Both of these pitchers look like they're locked in early, and runs are going to be really difficult to come by. They both look like they're on point so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Fouled off. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. The next 0 2. Is a fastball down below the knees. Well, one thing about him, he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. Nope. Maybe it. trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Three. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. At the plate now is the designated hitter, number 44. This will be his first trip to the plate in this one. No score here as we play inning number two. Dude, Big wow. swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. You know, when you're facing a top of the line pitcher like this, he's going to be down around the knee. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. One, two, three, go the Astros. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Digging in, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Set game. to lead off the home the half of the second. Number 27. Into the corner and slicing foul. Cole, or the Cole train as he's frequently called. It was selected in the first round back in 2011. Yeah, Matt, you cannot miss on your first rounder. And they didn't with this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Pro won't get him. That is good. No left fielder. Dalton. Now at the plate, Bob Dalton Pompey. He'll swing it from the left side right here. From the stretch. Lifted down the line and left. But this will land untouched. This is the situation where there's a lot of pressure on the infielders if the ball is put in play on the ground. Both the guy at first and at the plate are burners, so a double play is going to be tough. Even getting one out could be a challenge. But the catch is made on the line out there. Will they have a shot at doubling him off first? Time that for a look six. at the Strohs on date. The In the outfield, Double Michael ten. Brantley. This guy broke the Indians franchise record for consecutive games without an error in 2013. Has great range and is very sure-handed out there. And he's in the second safely with a stolen base. Guerrero leads off second with one gun in the inning. And now the runner's trying for third. And this is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory. But this will land untouched. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Man at second here with two away. And that brings up the exciting Lourdes Gurriel Jr. He comes second. There's the nothing and nothing pitch. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Breaking ball drops right in the shoot for a strike. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Brantley's after it. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Blue Jays held in check. We'll move. Back with Mark DeRozan, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian as the Puerto Rican sensation and former number one overall pick Carlos Correa gets set to start the inning. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Hey, that's a well-executed fastball right there at the bottom of the zone. If he stays there all day, it's going to make for a long day for the offense. Unless they're willing to bend their legs and get down and create some different launch angle, he's on point right now. 
Batting it. Digging in now, Robinson Chirinos. Go ahead run at first, nobody out. One ball, no strikes to count. And he won't bite at that point either. It's 2-0. Those were great takes right there. Those were pitches that a lot of guys normally swing at, but he took both of them and finds himself in a productive count leverage. 2-0. Under this is Pompey, and he's got it for the first out. Here's Jake Marisnik. There's one the away. The runner at first field. represents the potential go-ahead score. Marisnik. Double play is in order, however. Yeah, you attack the zone and get a swing and a miss that late on your first pitch fastball. Good chance he's coming right back with the same thing. Shaw will get there as he's able to tuck this one away just past the first base dugout for route number two. The right fielder, number four. Here's George Springer. There are two gone and the possible go ahead run at first. And look out as that fastball ran in and got him. Ouch, bang. The pitcher is acting innocent, but I saw it in real time. And my first thought was he did that on purpose. These pitchers can paint the black inside and out, make the ball move up and down. So a lot of times when you see it. Well, the first baseman is under it to make the play, and that retires the side. No runs, a hit, two left. So striding in, Rendell Richard as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. First delivery to him on the way. Line drive to center field. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. Into the box now. Derek Fisher. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And now the second pitch is swung on and hit in the air to left. And that's in there. Base hit. Number nine batter comes through that time as it'll now be up to the top of the order with one away. Now that hey, they're not all beautiful. And they don't all have to be. Just throwing a lawn dart over the third baseman's head right there. Beautiful piece of hit. Stepping in now, Bo Bichette. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Line toward right center. In there, a base hit. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Well, you can see why these fans are so excited about this rookie. Yeah, man, a, just a nice piece of hitting by this youngster. Not only does it look like he's going to be a solid contributor, it looks like he may be an impact player at the big league level for years to come if he can continue to learn and develop. He looks good to me. He's looking to bring home the winning run from third. This is lined into center field. It's down for a base hit. And the Blue Jays are winners in walk-off fashion. Well, the way things unfolded, you kind of had a sense that this thing was going to end in dramatic fashion, and that's exactly what happened. A walk-off for the win? Wow. Well, we've talked about his dominance all throughout the game, and he ended up finishing what he started, a complete game shutout. He's our tops player of the game. Well, you know he wants that one pitch back that led to the lone hit, but it was pretty awesome watching him do his thing. He had guys off balance and flailing at the plate all game long, so he really was the story. And that one run held up tonight, one nothing the final. The Blue Jays led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Hyunjin Ryu is the winning pitcher of record. Garrett Cole couldn't work out of the third inning taking the loss. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special Van presentation Dark, of MLB tonight. Network. Good First night, everybody. For the victorious Blue Jays.